Hi everybody, welcome to A Child's Dream. My name is Hannah and this video is brought to you by Pepper and Pine. Today I wanna to share with you the Beeswax Honeycomb Candle Rolling Kit. For more information on this product, you can check the description box below. So today I'm gonna to share with you how to turn this candle kit into a stunning centerpiece for any garden party. So let me show you what's inside this kit. The kit comes with six eight by eight sheets of honeycomb candle wax. It also comes with the the wicks which are nine inches long these are in really beautiful spring colors the colors are nice and pastel and if you've never smelled beeswax before it has a very beautiful light honey scent so it's very nice so it comes in these sheets that can be cut down and today we're going to do that we're going to cut these sheets down first i want to finish showing you these beautiful colors it comes with some paper in between each sheet now the thing is is that if you're working on a cool day you want to lightly warm these up either with a hair dryer or putting it in a warm place before you start moving them you can see they're quite stiff today but if you're working in the summertime they'll be a lot more bendable and flexible to cut down the sheets, we're going to use this glass cutting mat as well as an X-Acto knife and a metal ruler. We're going to cut the first sheet down to six inches and two inches. So I'm going to use the grid on this cutting mat as a guide and then I'm just going to position my ruler right down so that I've got two inches here and six inches here. Now I know this says nine, but I'm also starting at the one in case you were confused. So this is the part that an adult should do. If you're working with your children, make sure that you are doing this part and that you follow all the safety rules regarding using your X-Acto knife. So I'm just going to carefully cut right down using my ruler as a guide. And you will need to put a little bit of effort into this but you want to make sure that you keep your fingers away from the direction of the blade. And let's see if this cut all the way through. And it did. It cut all the way through really beautifully. So now we're going to be making two candles out of this, a tall one and a short one. But we're going to go ahead and cut the rest of them down to size before I warm these up so that we can roll them a little bit easier. For this one, we're going to go ahead and cut it straight down in half. Very easy. You could also use a pair of scissors for this as well. I went ahead and cut down all of our wax so that we could have various sizes of candles when we're done. Went ahead and warmed up the wax a little bit so that it was a little bit easier to work with. And because we have different sizes of candles, we also need to cut down the wick a little bit so that it fits each one. You just want to cut it about a quarter to a half inch longer than the wax itself. Once I was able to get it over a little bit of the candle wick, I was able to have my 10 year old son continue continue rolling the candle. My six-year-old daughter also helped in the process and it's a really great activity for children. Now I want to show you how you can cut down your wax even further. Now we're going to make a short candle but it's also going to be a skinny candle as well. Now don't worry if you run out of the wicks that are provided in this kit you can always use some baker's twine instead. So again, once I get it over the difficult beginning part, then my children can roll the rest of it the way up and they really enjoy this a lot. I just want to show you the different sizes here, the short fat one and the short skinny one. Now it's time to roll up this beautiful aqua colored one and this one's going to be quite large and chunky and these ones stand up a lot easier. Now with the remainder of the wax, instead of rolling it into one large chunky candle, I'm going to go ahead and cut it down a little bit more. And I'm going to take some baker's twine and run one of the wicks vertically while I run the other wick horizontally. So I'm going to get one small kind of medium candle and then a tall one that's also kind of medium size. It's not too skinny and it's not too fat. So this is what it looks like when they're all assembled on this little wood block. It makes a beautiful centerpiece. Now we made so many candles with this kit that we were also able to add a couple of candles to each of the place settings, which looks darling. This will make a great centerpiece for any garden party, any spring party, any summer party. It's absolutely beautiful. Now the last thing we need to do is light those candles and I'll tell you, it 
it was a little bit challenging with the wind, but don't worry if you can't light them, that's okay. You can certainly enjoy them without being lit. For a link to this product as well as more information, please check the description box below and don't forget to check out at childsdream.com.